Hey guys, Peter over here, Craigslist Hunter. Uh, a lot of you been asking me if I do retail arbitrage for Amazon FBA. Yes, I do, um, but I do it a little bit differently. Uh, this is some of the gift cards here, like Kmart, Target, Sears, Walgreens, Mayer. Um, I'll show you guys in a second how I use these to my advantage and how I do my retail arbitrage. So I'm right in front of uh, Sears. I'm gonna walk in. Let's see if we can find anything. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, I've been in a store for about 10 minutes. This is the first interesting product I found. It sells for 1044. It really doesn't matter what kind of product. It's all numbers games. So I'm going to scan it with my Profit Bandit. And I put in that it sells for $11. No FBA sellers. And it looks like it's profit of 1250 at the moment it's ranked around 400,000 so in tools it's not too bad so I'm gonna grab them all and uh, load them to my cart I think there was six of them and then I scanned for another five ten minutes before I found another product so here we go this one's it's on sale for about 13 bucks so I'm gonna scan it again with the profit bandit and this one uh, shows extremely good profit here sells for about 70 bucks or so merchant for fill but no FBA sellers whatsoever and profit is around 50 bucks so fantastic pickup there they only had two of them that's all right so I'm gonna grab those, stick them in my card, and then I go scanning for another five, ten minutes uh, before uh, before I found these gloves. They were on sale for like 7.41 original price, I think like 17.99 or something. So I'm gonna scan it again. Now this one is not a huge profit, five dollars a pop. Uh, there's three FBA sellers selling for like eighteen ninety nine. Good rank though, one hundred twenty seven thousand. So I'm gonna load. I think there was eight of them. Yeah, I'm gonna load all of them to my card, and then I went on scanning for a few more minutes. Couldn't find anything, and decided you know that's enough to make this video. So I'm heading uh, heading back uh, to the register now. It is super freaking boring. I should have cut this out, but that's what it is. Arbitrage is super boring. Nothing exciting about it. You're just playing numbers games, and uh, that's all it is. So here, uh, here I'm gonna go through the whole checkout, and I'm gonna pay with my gift cards. So overall, you know, not bad, uh, probably a couple hundred dollars worth of profit here, but it is super boring, like I said, you know, it's not for everybody, but it's part of the business, so that's what I do, I buy these gift cards all the time, so I gotta spend them. So here you see me uh, doing the whole checkout, and then couple minutes I'll be back in a truck and I'll explain it to you guys how I do it how the game works with the gift cards so I'll see you in a truck and here's some coupons did you want a bag for all this if you don't mind please all right awesome thank you no problem you have a great day you too, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. So I'm back in a truck. I'm hoping you're getting the idea how this works for me, okay? So, for example, I picked up these Craftsman, these Craftsman uh, Chiching. I like that. Chiching. Um, 
Craftsman gloves, right? The utility gloves. They had them normally for like $16.99 or whatever. They discounted them to um, like $7.41 or $7.49, something like that. So already discounted when I scan them on my Profit Bandit, um, list, price, list price shows $39. But there's three FBA sellers right now selling for $18.89. Um, so the profit on these at this price would be uh, 15 bucks after all the fees and everything. But remember, I just used um, a gift card on this. And what's beautiful about it, I buy these gift cards all the time from different department stores. Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Kohl's, Sears, Walgreens, all of them. People come out to my shop and I buy them. I buy them at 50%. What does that mean? That means that these were already on sale for like $7.40. I bought these for like four bucks, half price basically, you know, or seven, you know, three seventy or something like that. So that kind of guarantees me even better price than anybody else out there and uh, I can send them to Amazon FBA or uh, or I can sell on eBay depending on a product that's why you guys see me on, in my eBay store you know I will have a lot of new products here and there that I will sell uh, some of it that it's not authorized to sell on uh, Amazon so I'll push them on, on eBay but that's how I get great deals I look already for super discounted products like this one which you can already flip pretty good but then on top of that I get another 50% off by using the gift cards that I buy so this is one of my uh, one of my tricks up the sleeve what I would call and uh, and it works very very well so uh, something to think about you know uh, you can advertise on Craigslist that you buy gift cards and stuff and, and people will call and uh, you know, just remember, I only offer 50% on gift cards for me to make uh, make this worth a while. So, uh, but you can do a little bit more, depends. There's a lot of guys that buy gift cards on Craigslist. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up. I like sharing information like this. And, and if you are brand new to my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, guys. Peace out.